How many of you can solve this problem? We have 3 to the power of square root of t equals 27 to the power of t. Now, the square root here. And this square root here means something. And here there is 27. So, and here there is 3. And this 3 here is the base. So, this is rather an exponential problem. For instance, now we have 27 here. We need to ensure that we express this 27 in terms of 3. And for us to achieve that, we can copy out this 27. And this is the same thing as writing 3 times 3 times 3. And this simply means 3 to the power of 3. So instead of writing this 27, we are going to replace it with 3 power 3. We now have 3 to the power of square root t equals 3 to the power of 3, which is 27. And this is raised to the power of t. Now, going by this index law, a to the power of n, raised to the power of another n, equals a to the power of n times n. Going by this law, that means the 3 here will multiply the t. And this will give us 3 to the power of square root t equals 3 to the power of 3t. Because 3 times t is 3t. Now, the square root of t here and there is 3t here. The basis are the same. For instance, if you consider this index law, if you have a power b equals a to the power of c, since the two bases are a that is are the same, that means you can say b equals c. Now we can also say that root t equals 3t. So you have root t equals 3t. Now, the next step will be for us to eliminate the square root here. We want to eliminate it, and for us to do that, we raise this to the power of 2, and we raise this to the power of 2. Now, this square root is the same thing as saying raised to the power of 1 over 2. So, for instance, if you have square root of t, this is the same t to the power of 1 over 2, and this is to the power of 2. And for this, for instance, if you have a times b raised to the power of c, this is like saying a power c times b power c. So you can distribute this c. So this 3, you raise it to the power of 2, times t, you raise it to the power of 2. So the next step will be for us to multiply this exponent using the same index law. So you are going to have t to the power of 1 over 2 times 2. This is 2 over 2. And this equals 3 to the power of 2 times 3 times 3. We have 9 times t power 2. And don't forget 2 over 2 is 1. So what we are going to have is t equals 9 times t squared. That is 9t squared. So the next step will be for us to take this t over here and it's going to become negative because this is positive. So we have 9 times t power 2 minus t equals 0. And right now, there is t here and there is t here. We can decide to factor up one t. So we have t outside the bracket, the whole of this 9t squared divided by t will give you 9t minus the t divided by t will give you 1, and this is 0. So from here, you can have two different equations. You have the first one, t equals 0, or you also have this one here, 9t minus 1 equals 0. So right now, 
This one is solved already. The next thing is for us to check if that will satisfy the equation. For this other one here, we need to solve it. You have 90 minus 1 equals 0. You move this negative one over here, it becomes positive one. So you have 90 equals 1. And from here, you isolate the t by dividing this by 9. You divide this by 9. 9 eliminates 9. You have t equals 1 over 9. Another solution that we are going to check. So we have two solutions, 0 and 1 over 9. The next step will be for us to insert these values right here. That is also very important. We insert those values. So you have 3 power root t equals 27 power t. And we have two solutions, t equals 0, t equals 1 over 9. So you have 3 to the power of, let's start with 0, square root of 0, equals 27 to the power of 0. So from here, you have 3 power square root of 0 is 0, and this equals 27 power 0. Now, any number raised to the power of 0 is 1. And this equals here, any number raised to the power of 0 is 1. So this has satisfied the equation. So let's consider 1 over 9. So we have 3 power root t equals 27 power t. If you consider 1 over 9, we have 3 power root 1 over 9 equals 27 power 1 over 9. Now, we have 3 power square root of, we split it as square root of 1 divided by square root of 9 equals 27 to the power of 1 over 9. So from here, you have square root of 1 is 1. You have 3 power 1 divided by square root of 9 is 3. And this equals 27 power 1 over 9. So, what are we going to do? 27 is the same thing as 3 power 3. We have 3 power 1 over 3 equals, this is 3 to the power of 3, that is 27, raised to the power of 1 over 9. Okay, so from here, you have 3 power 1 over 3 equals 3 power 3 times 1, that is 3 over 9. 3 divided 7, divided 9, 3. So you are having 3 power 1 over 3 equals 3 power 1 over 3. That is correct. So that shows that the answers are obviously correct. Goodbye and see you again.